What's up guys, Fred Cutting Edge Window Tinning here again. Uh, here's just gonna be a quick view of uh, the inside install of the rear glass. We actually already prepped the window, I just finished cleaning it up, uh, got it all ready and good to go. Uh, I'm just gonna go grab the back glass off film off the uh, peel board and I'll be right back and jump right in here and get it done. So I actually put the seat down here uh, in this car. I'm gonna just go ahead and jump in here. Like I was saying, uh, I had already prepped this rear window, uh, cleaned it, squeegeed it, used a scrubby pad to get it all ready to go. So what we're gonna do is gonna install it. As as you see, it's dry now. Um, after I'm done prepping it, I like to give it the final squeegee and leave it dry right up until before I put the film in. And uh, what I like to do is, uh, go with the light mist in the center and then just right around the edges give it a little bit of a more thorough spray just in case there's any stuff that uh, wants to jump in here from the from the inside uh, and then what we did here is uh, I reversed roll the film uh, already sprayed it like I said off of the peel board so what we do is roll a good part of it you know good couple and just make sure I mean the slip solution really depends on you on how how slippery you want it the winter I mean the weather how cold and things like that it is um, it's just like a hit or miss type of deal so unroll it usually what I do is try to get that, that bottom half going first unroll 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 um, I know it gets a little bit scary when you see this top and hang in there, but uh, believe me, the more you, the more you, I guess, like worry about it, that is when you start getting more issues. Just sort of just roll with it. Uh, then I come in down at the bottom, take down that, take the bottom liner, and then basically just start pushing from the bottom first. Um, the reason I like to do this, I don't, I don't lay it up right away, is uh, sometimes you'll get it to touch up on that on that headliner and you can get a little bit of contaminants off the headliner so what I like to do that's why I like to do that bottom half first and then come up right when it's down to the bottom and usually it's already set right there right at right to the edge so you just you know just just position it properly where you want it to right after that um, like a good rule of thumb is Usually, uh, I saw this on one of the uh, forums when I first started and whatnot. Um, this actually, this panel right here, it looks like it's pretty uh, pretty high up against the glass, but it actually isn't. And either way, you can just push it down a little bit and you can actually just reach your fingers down in there and uh, get it all the way down to the edge without any issues. If you see a little bit of a light gap, just grab it, push it down there, and uh, you're good to go push it down a little bit so you can at least see where it's going and it pops right back up um, oh yeah like I was saying uh, a good rule of thumb that I saw at one of these forums once when I was first starting out it says just practice on your aiming um, you know it helps also prevent contaminants and uh, keep on jumping back and forth here here you go right now I actually like to smooth out everything with my hands just in case so we don't get any creases or whatnot um, spray a little bit of lube on there and then uh, start from the middle basically go up to the sides and then when I squeegee it I like to squeegee it the exact same way I shrunk it um, a little bit of a gap over here if you see so uh, you know we tacked it down already but again 
not super tacked down, just the uh, Spray some slip in there. Massage it around a little bit. There we go. Massage it around. See, that's one of those little things where sometimes you you run into some issues, and uh, instead of freaking out, just know exactly what to do. There we go. So. No need to pull it all off or anything like that. Just massage it around real quick. Move everything. Position it back. Like I said. And then off you go again. Again, tack it. Like I was saying, I like to squeegee it the exact same way that I shrunk it. So, if you've seen the other videos, tack it down the middle first. And then, uh, just straight down. The exact same way I shrunk it. Shrunk down, down, down. Again, you can go both left sides and both right sides. I like to just go usually the bottom first and then up. So after I shrink it, I mean after I uh, squeegee it this way, then obviously you know, you got those disfroster lines sometimes. They obviously have a little bit more moisture stuck in there um, than the rest of the glass. So, after I'm done shrinking, I mean, after I'm done squeegeeing it down, well, actually, let's not forget that bottom half. Take the bottom half, take a bulldozer. Usually, I should start up in the middle by the, by the uh, brake light and go straight down, straight down, straight down. Straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. And you're good to go. Again, if you get afraid that this back panel is just... Use your other hand. Push it down a little bit. You're good to go. Use your uh, tighten. Tighten. Again, go around the bottom the edges. Make sure everything's squeegeed out down at the bottom. Also, like uh, I said in one of those past videos, uh, double shrinking that bottom half helps a lot uh, on stuff like this, especially when you're down into one of these uh, tighter, what looks like a tighter uh, back rear window. Just cause, uh, um, usually it just takes one pass and, and the film just lays on there really nice. Uh, so then after we go side, side, uh, down, 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 up, up, up. Then I used to, then I like to go along the defroster lines, you know, just to get any extra moisture out with a towel wrapped around my squeegee. Um, so then that way it can absorb that moisture up at the edges. So then that way it doesn't suck it right back in. Put some muscle into it. You know, that way we're sucking out the moisture in pretty much cleaning it at the same time as well. And you're pretty much good to go. That's basically it. Then, uh, you know, we go out around the outside, check everything is laid down. If you need to come back, you know, and take this bad boy again down the edge, then so be it. Put just a little bit of touch-ups and, uh, Basically, that uh, that back window is good to go. All right, guys, have fun squeezing into all these little cars. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Like I said before, uh, I'm gonna start probably uh, a different channel with just specifically just all these types of installs and whatnot. You know, quick tips. Um, you know, just stay tuned to that kind of stuff. In the meanwhile, you know, if uh, if you like what I'm showing you here, again, you know, send us a message. Try to I try to respond as as quick as possible. Um, you know, and, um, if there's any other tips or questions that you might have, I'm always happy to, to help and answer. Thanks guys. Appreciate it.